Captain America The First Avenger is directed by Joe Johnson and stars Chris Evans as Steve Rogers aka Captain America. Well at the start he kind of isn't Captain America, he's little pissy Steve Rogers, little four foot nothing guy who can't get into the army until a doctor decides to experiment on him because of his courage and his you know his good nature that he thinks that this will become bigger in his new super serum form of himself and after he does all that he becomes this ambassador for America but his main goal in this entire movie is to defeat the evil Red Skull on to the story This movie is called The First Avenger. Why do you think that? <laughs> That's right, because we've gone back to the 40s era where nothing else has happened so far in the MCU up to this stage that far back. I love the 40s era. I love the way this is set. So what's not to love? I love the aesthetic of this movie. I love the 40s setting. I love the time period and the location. They just do it so well, I and mean, they add the space age element into this movie without really fucking anything up, which can be really difficult. And talking of space age shit, this movie introduces the Tesseract, and oh boy, that's a doozy of a thing. This isn't just a story about a guy trying to get huge, this is a guy who's trying to join the army, trying to help his fellow men out, trying to help America out. This is a story about him and you know, him in love, it's him and this huge big deal with him and Peggy Carter. Oh god, it happened again. Yes, I like Captain America as a character, but you have to realise after this movie he doesn't get much better at being the king of one-liners, and the, the story itself is very paint-by-numbers, but other than that, this is a great, great movie, and one of my favourites. Um, uh, on to heroes now, please. Yeah, thanks. Of course we have Steve, the king of the cheesy one-liner here. He's a noble man who knows what it's like to be shit on, so he's there to help people, and he's there to help the war effort, whatever it takes. He just, you know, he's punched Hitler in the face over 300 times. He knows how to do this. He wants to help, he wants to be there. And him and Bucky Barnes, who is played by Sebastian Stan, and just kills it, and still kills it to this day. I love them both, both amazing characters, all the side characters like Dum Dum Dugan and all that, okay people might not know them if they're not complete fucking nerds like myself, but they all work so well together in helping Steve Rogers, Tommy Lee Jones, fantastic, it's Tommy Lee Jones, of course he is, oh and of course Steve's love interest, ooh, ooh and mine, ooh, go to villains quick. The villain for this movie, well, it's kind of special. Oh no, it's Smith. Oh, oh do bullet time, Neo, quick, oh, beat him. Oh. Hugo Weaving plays a Nazi in this movie. Of course, he's not Smith. This isn't the Matrix. Or is it? Hmm. I don't know. Uh. I like him. He's not a bad villain by any means. There's only one thing that really lets it down for me in Red Skull's sort of whole thing. It's not Hugo Weaving, it's what he has in the movie. Let me rant and explain that bit on. How did he make tanks so fucking big? How did he make all those guns work with one fucking cube and like split it all up? It's not a fucking Dulux battery, it's a fucking... Oh, oh my god. God, it just doesn't work. Why can he do so many things with it? It's just it's in a church in a fucking drawer. And, oh, oh, fucking, fucking Nazis work. He and Toby Jones are very good villains together, but I can't help thinking they're very sort of James Bond stroke the cat thingy. But I can't hate V. I mean, Smith. I mean, Hugo Weaving. I mean, Red Skull. I can't... Conclude this now, quick! For me, this Marvel movie had to be really fucking clever. They had to introduce a lot of people that you're not really going to see again. This is the 1940s. We know where Cap ends up. He's a fucking ice cube, but we know that. 
right? But he had to introduce like Tony Stark's father at the first like Stark Expo that you do see later on in the Marvel movie. So yeah, it's connecting, it's doing its job. And he had to shove some alien shit in something to do with the 40s. It's not gonna be easy to make that look, I mean, in Thor, He's a god, you can have all the alien shit you want, and Iron Man, he's a genius, I understand that. But this is the start of what I think is one of the best trilogies in the Marvel Universe. Cap just keeps getting better. That's for another video, but this is a real solid start. And I really don't know why people hate on it. I don't understand, because a lot of people don't like this movie, but I do. Fuck you. So guys, on my marvelous list, <laughs> Captain America, the first Avenger, goes in at number nine. So there's Captain America, the first Avenger, guys. The next movie on the list of all the Marvel movies is Avengers Assemble. It's the big one, the big one that everyone was waiting for back in 2012. I'm doing it right, right now in 2018. That makes sense. Thank you guys so much, as always, for watching. I cannot wait to dive into the next Marvel movie. I cannot wait for that. Please do not forget before you leave, guys, to like, share, and subscribe. Tell all your friends. And this is your friendly neighborhood ginger guy saying, Ginger out.